Hello and welcome back to Proactive New York. I'm Christine Corrado. With me in studio today is Jim Krause. He's the EVP of Sales and Marketing at Capstone Turbine. Jim, great to see you. Good to see you. Seeing you over Skype, good to see you in person in studio. Yeah, it's nice to be here. So congratulations on two new micro turbine product orders this week. First off, tell me a bit about this Virginia-based customer that's secured these two turbines, 247 Solar. Sure. So 24-7 Solar was uh, founded in 2015 by industry veteran Bruce Anderson, solar industry veteran. Um, he's been working for several years developing the different pieces of the technology to en enable the project. So he's worked with DOE, St. Gobain, DLR to develop the different pieces that make the pro project app possible. So we do have an image to explain kind of visually how mi the micro turbines would work together with these solar panels. But I mean, can you kind of talk me through how it actually works? Sure. So there's the, the, the actual mirrors that shine up onto a solar collector. And the solar collector superheats air, and that air is pumped down to the micro turbine um, to drive the turbine wheel in the micro turbine. So similar to how you we would expand uh, combustion heated air across the turbine, we're able to expand solar heated air across the turbine. The project also has the ability to store thermal energy. Okay. So we can direct the heat from the solar concentrator into the thermal energy storage and provide it the power when the sun isn't shining via this thermal energy storage device. So when the sun goes down, then everything still works because of the micro turbine. Exactly. So the, the system can store up to 20 hours of thermal energy the way it's currently designed. So a solar park that wouldn't have a micro turbine, it would not be able to power without the sun, obviously. It needs that component. Yes, exactly. Okay. So, I mean, is this Capstone's first solar customer? Have you done this before with other customers? We, we actually have done this. Uh, we did a project several years ago with a company out of Israel with our C65 product. But it was more of a research project than it was intended to be commercialized. So this will actually be the first time that we've used the C200 with this combination of devices to provide what's ultimately going to be a commercial deployment of, of this technology. Well, what is the difference between, between the C200 and, and the one that you just described there? So the, the C200 is our largest microturbine currently. The C65 is the same technology, just scaled down. Okay. So the beauty of Capstone's technology is each of our products, the, the 30 kilowatt C30, 65 kilowatt C65, and the C200, 200 kilowatt, are all based on similar architecture and technology. So would you expect to kind of attract more solar customers based on this one that you've just announced yes. here? Yeah, absolutely. The, the market is in the larger sizes for utility-based or even distributed solar. Um, but, you know, customers are looking for hundreds of kilowatts or megawatts as opposed to smaller projects that the C65 would have been applicable to. And I mean, broadly speaking, how does this product kind of fit in with Capstone's overall zero carbon strategy? So, so more and more of our customers are looking to drive their carbon intensity down, whether it's in the oil field, commercial industrial customers. So this, this actually gives the customers that have the real estate and the solar intensity to install this solution the opportunity to be 100% zero carbon. Mm. Um, it also fits into um, our portfolio with combustion-based support that allows customers to run on renewable energy, biogas, uh, you know, renewable biogas. Um, we're even working on some uh, you know, hydrogen-based turbines that could be renewable as long as the energy source making the hydrogen is a renewable energy source. Hmm. So besides the solar, you do have other kind of projects in the pipeline with this we do. carbon. Exactly. And then we've also got another company using the same adaptation of our microturbine to use wood pellets in Europe through a boiler to do the same concept. Instead of using the sun to superheat air, we're using renewable wood pellets to superheat air and expand it across our turbine. And that's a, a new project that, that's just been in its beta testing and will be going to commercial deployment in the next 12 to 18 months. So really engaging in the renewable market here. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, more again, more and more customers are looking long term, how do we not only get our electricity from renewable sources, but how do we use thermal energy to make electricity and get renewable energy from 
electricity from thermal sources. Well, Jim, it was great to have you in and learn more about this announcement. Thanks so much. Great. And thanks for having me. Enjoy yeah. New York. Thank you. Appreciate it.